my COVID-19 lockdown experience that completely shattered my executive functioning per se. So let's talk about it. <laughs> segue into what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so when this started, when I made the, the last video still from the dance studio, we did not know that the schools were going to be closed, that basically all education was moving into the virtual and uh, a lot of people's jobs were moving into the virtual. It, like I just had found out about my university moving online. Next day we found out about the kids' schools were done for the year. Mm, a lot of people's jobs also moved online. So it was kind of a lot of transitions happening very rapidly and our lifestyle just changing quite, quite rapidly and quite drastically as well. So it made me for me, I'm the kind of person that change is not easy for me. It has to be something that I plan and I can make a list about. And when this happened, it was just like, whoa, okay. So now you just do everything from home and everybody is home and good luck. So for the first few weeks, I was completely like, I would wake up and I know I shouldn't, but I would just look at the news and things were just getting worse and I would just, my to-do list went from a series of complex tasks, intellectual or physical tasks, to uh, just basically simple things like take a shower, eat something, make sure the kids don't die, make sure the pets don't die, uh, get food, maybe do some ballet. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of became like a very, basic version of myself and there was some days where I didn't really do most of those things. It, it was definitely a psychological experience that I didn't expect to have and that I definitely learned a lot from. As I started researching other people's experiences, this is pretty much how everybody felt to one degree or another, everybody had to adapt. Um, you know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine that's a CEO of a large company and he was like, oh my God, I can't deal with it. My toddler tries to jump into my Zoom meetings and it's just, it's just crazy. So by now we have all adapted a little better. We have learned some better coping strategies, I hope. And uh, yeah, we move forward. Now the lockdown is uh, loosening up a little bit. Things are opening back up. A couple of my classes that I go to have started again. So I'm really enjoying that. I really miss that in-person ballet class experience. And as much as I promote online teaching and learning, I do believe that for ballet class is the one place where I enjoy being with a group of people that share my interests and my passion and I just feel connected and I really miss that. It's like something was ripped out of me. And I think that made it harder to even practice alone, which I did, I did get some practice in, but I will admit for the first, when the lockdown first started, I didn't get as much practice as I could. I, I saw some people jumping on, you know, some classes immediately and I was just like, I can't, can't, uh, but now I am better in practicing every day and enjoying a few classes that I do have that are available. This time also made me realize that I don't enjoy teaching children, so I kind of let that go. And maybe it's because the children that I was particularly teaching were in a type of 
orientation where they they don't really see how important ballet is for their dance education and they weren't given it the the respect and the reverence that it deserves so it just became like an anxiety costing situation for me instead of an enjoyable experience of teaching so i just kind of let that go and i um, feel much better about that and i'm going to concentrate on teaching some private adult students that i have and basically just doing this and doing videos and teaching online with my teachable.com course which i will link below i was i'm sharing a lot of that the content in that course on my channel here for free still because when i developed the course i didn't want it to like as soon as i was finished with it bam the COVID lockdown went in effect and i do not want to launch it and charge people for content because everybody was just like looking for things to do as far as the things that they enjoyed to do and the classes were gone so i i shared as much as possible and i'm still doing that but if you're interested in the full course there's a lot more in there i will put it below and i will put i will start it out at with a special price so everybody can get their hands on it if you're interested and please let me know what you think so yeah now we are we have some other issues that we're dealing with but um we're kind of adapting to still spending the summer somewhat isolated and doing a lot of stuff at home and i think we've learned a lot i think we've grown a lot and we're going to move forward and be stronger and better for it so please share with me your own experiences how did you deal with being in lockdown and not having a class to go to not being able to see your ballet friends and maybe what if you were just trying to start and all of a sudden there you are at lockdown like how did that make you feel i really i really would like to share your experiences and to have a conversation so um yeah just share how this was for you hey there if you enjoyed this type of video please make sure to share it with other people that would also enjoy it to help grow the community and also give this video a like that helps me a lot and also interact with it post a comment and let me know what you thought thank you